this is like my favorite graph. Love graphs, but this is my favorite graph. So this is our strategic planning process. And the acronym you can remember is VMOST. So I draw a lot of triangles like this. And it starts because the most important thing in crafting your strategy is your vision. Now your mission, just underneath that, is how you fulfill on your vision. And then you have the goals and objectives underneath. The strategies and tactics are the doing. But everything starts with the vision and then works its way down. So what is a vision? Remember I told you I just made up my job? I just, cre I just out of nowhere. Because you get to say how the future of your organization goes. You get to say how the future of your team goes. And you can even use strategic planning as an individual to say, hey, this is where my career is going to go. And it all starts right now. Because in front of you is nothing but space. So if we're looking in the organizational context, setting up your company's strategic plan, how do you create a vision? Can you see your future? And I really mean that. It's like if you were trying to get to a place, can you see what that future is? So one of my favorite analogies for creating a vision is a story, Alice in Wonderland, okay? And she's walking and then she gets to a fork in the road. And the Cheshire cat is up in the corner there and she says, well, which road do I take? To which he replies, you know, well, where are you trying to go? She says, I don't know. Well, then any road will get you there. And so when looking at where you want to go, the vision is critical because that's going to determine every single step you take after that. So I want to give you something. How do we create a vision for you and your organization? So ask yourself, and you can write this down. It's my favorite line. If success was a place, how would you know if you got there? If success was a place, how would you know if you got there? And what we look at when we do strategic planning is we look at a three-year timeline because it's not so far out that your brain can't conceive it and it's not too close to be just operational. And so if today's date, three years from now, what does success look like to you? And I want you to describe your vision, describe what that success looks like as vividly as possible. Okay, so imagine, you know, you're here and this is your future. See that special effect? It's great. And you're looking around and you can actually picture it. Like what is your career, what does your career look like? What does your title look like? What does the customers that you deal with look like? What are the processes that you have around you look like? What does the culture look like? What do your clients look like? What kind of revenue are you doing? It's like a blueprint for a house. You know, when you build a house, you make the blueprint before you dig the hole. And before you take any decision, you say, okay, this is going here, this is going here. You see it. So the most important part of strategic planning and using a strategy and doing any of this stuff is getting clear on where you're going. You might have guessed I like analogies and stories and parables. So it's just another you know, audience participation just to make sure you guys are still with me. Who's ever done a puzzle? Okay, cool. So you know how whatever your puzzle strategy is, everybody's got a different puzzle strategy. Mine is you open up the box and you dump all the stuff on the floor. Okay? And then you start with the outer edges, right? Because that's obviously the easiest one. But then once you get the outer edges, you're like, well, what's next? So how do you know what's next? You look at the picture on the front of the box. And so creating a strategic plan, creating your vision, creating that future is all about looking at the picture that you want and then putting the pieces together to make it happen. And like I said, you get to say what that future is.